In this video, I find some serious gold nuggets and reveal what I found in one month of sniping. So in our last video, we found over an ounce. Now, although it may not seem like it, it's the very next day. So let's get ready and see what kind of gold we find today. All right, our first piece of gold. Not a nugget, but it's still a little piece. All right, our first little nugget. Probably half a gram. about two hours. Lisa and I haven't been finding much of anything, but I moved up to where I started in the last video where that big nugget came from. And I just found another one. Definitely not a big, but it's, it's over a gram for sure. <laughs> Now that my gold nugget levels are refilled, I'm gonna use some of that energy to look around in this area just a bit longer. I do like the look of this old bedrock here too, and especially because I just found gold stuck to it. Another hour went by. Just found another nice little piece. It's crazy how much gold we found in the last video. We come back to the exact same spot and almost don't find anything. I found that last piece right here and I moved all the way up. Now, just saw the next one. So anytime I find a piece of gold, I always keep looking in that area because when you find gold, it's a good sign that there could be gold around. So it's best just to keep looking. So I'm not finding anything on the bedrock. It's always just sitting in the hard pack. There's so much hard pack here. I'm gonna work on moving everything out of the way and then I'll start crawling forward. I just worked my butt off pulling out a big slab of bedrock. Ironstone is a really heavy rock, a great sign to look for gold. Nice little flake. So I just moved this big piece of bedrock my 40 pound bar was sitting in. Found more gold. I thought I would move to the spot I found those big nuggets in our last video, but work more into the bank instead. First, I had to remove all the stupid overburden I piled up to get back to the bedrock. So the reason why I want to go towards this way is because all that is bedrock and all this is just overburden that needs to get out of the way. And once it's out of the way, hopefully there'll be gold on the bedrock. I quickly scratched that idea and just stuck to the river. The spot that I'm in now looked really good, but it was really difficult to work. So I scratched that idea and went somewhere else. Just found another piece of gold under this overhang. Sorry. I found another piece of gold underneath this little overhang here. Oh. I got it! So I finished that hole, didn't find any more gold. That's where I was and I just came across the river. I've been working along this bedrock trying to break more chunks out and out popped up a little nugget. Nice. I worked this area for a bit, but even though I was finding a little bit of gold now and then, I wanted to spend more time where those big nuggets came from, so I sucked up the easy stuff and had a quick break. All right, so just having a quick break here. I haven't been doing a lot of filming because I haven't really been seeing much, but I just stumped out the snuffer bottle to see what we were finding, and we're actually finding more gold than I thought we would. Yeah, look at that. Still finding chunky bits. 
Definitely not as much as we were finding yesterday, or on the last video rather, which which was yesterday. But still, I am not complaining. Now I'm gonna put this gold in a separate snuffer bottle so it's safe. And then uh, we'll continue. Hopefully we find a 50 gram nugget. After spending so much time walking around trying to find a spot, I came back to where I found that 9 and 8 gram nugget. Just working the better off, I see another nugget. Yeah, maybe about half a gram nugget. <laughs> As I slowly made my way up through this shallow bedrocky area, I started to get discouraged as I wasn't seeing anything worth getting super excited about. I was just about to look for a new spot again when, after removing a big chunk of bedrock, a big yellow piece of metal popped out. So I've been working this bedrock well over an hour now. Look at all the bedrock that I've moved. That was annoying, that was annoying. That one right here. And, and I was just about to give up. Then the smoke cleared. I put my face under the water and saw two nice nuggets. One of them has got to be at least eight grams. <laughs> That is a beauty, baby! Wow! <laughs> Here's the other one sticking out. That's awesome! I didn't, have, I didn't have to do any work to get it. Well, I actually did a lot of work to spot it, but I'll keep rolling because there's probably going to be more. <laughs> I continued leaving the camera rolling, but like I've said in the past, by leaving the camera on, not only does it waste battery, but I'm limited with only one hand to work, which slows productivity down by a lot. I don't know if I have the angle right. Because it's so silty and very hard to see here, I'm picking up the sticky clay those nuggets were sitting in to pan out. Maybe there will be gold buried inside. I just moved more annoying heavy bedrock out of the way. So now I have more of an area to work. So I'm gonna spend some time moving some of those rocks out of the way, look thoroughly and see if we can find more gold. So I'm probably standing on two of the most heavy pieces of bedrock I've ever moved on my own. Those nice nuggets are sitting right here under a big piece of bedrock. So the same thing should be right here, but uh, I've kind of just restricted all my flow, which isn't gonna be good. All right, so I moved this way, didn't find any gold. I opened up this a little bit to get more flow in, just saw a little piece. I don't need a whole lot of money. I don't need a cup. I got everything that a man could want, but it's cold. In this canyon. So in the first New Zealand video that I did this year, I found a lot of gold following this little channel, then going to the right. Well now, I just came down a little further and went to the right, and I'm starting to see some gold here. I already spent time moving a bunch of boulders out of the way and getting down to hard pack, so now, hopefully there'll be something. You can find so much gold along this river if you're okay sitting in one spot. I, however, have to keep moving around for reasons related to getting cold and ADHD. Okay, so I moved upstream just a little bit with no plan. I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm doing. And I moved this big piece of bedrock and look at the gold that was stuck to the side. Here I'm just sort of demonstrating how much little pieces of gold you can grab just sitting in one area. That is until you find a big nugget. It went up the stuffer so it can't be that big. Oh. Uh, working where we are today, 
it's a really good spot for nuggets. You don't always get lucky, but you just gotta expect to find a nugget when you do find gold. <laughs> Not bad, baby. Maybe a couple grams. Okay. I'm done. I worked that spot to the bone. To the uh, I worked that spot really hard. So let's go back to the campsite, dump all the gold out. I think we did better than I think we did, and we'll see how we did. So we're back at camp now, and I did have a little peek, and I'm actually pretty impressed with how much gold we did find. So I honestly think that we're gonna be close to half an ounce, maybe 20 grams if we're lucky. Uh, I'm putting it in between my legs here so I could film at the same time. It was hard to tell what was a rock and what was gold. Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. That's gotta be at least eight grams or so. I don't know. <laughs> yeah! Look at all that. Oh, that's right. We did find a big nugget earlier. Oh man. That is exceptional. I'm actually wondering if this is gonna beat our over ounce day. I think we got 33.80 grams or something like that. This might actually beat it, but I don't think so. I hope so, but I don't think so. I'd even just be stoked with these nuggets right here. But then we got a big one. <laughs> I wonder if it's actually heavier than our last one, which was I think nine grams. Okay, so let's dry all this gold and weigh it. I'm gonna start with this nugget here. I'm gonna guess it's 1.1 2 point okay yeah 2.73 so i'm off but in a good way second little size nugget 1.79 so they're heavier than i think which means i'm gonna say eight grams and if it's any bigger that's amazing nine point make up your mind 9.83 grams. I don't remember what the last nine grammer was, but that's our second nine gram piece. Awesome. So now all together, I'm gonna guess, I don't know. I could add everything up in my head, but I don't want to. 15 grams, I'm probably gonna be off. 22.21, 20 now. Make up your mind, 21, 20. 22 grams of beautiful candy, almost an ounce. That is freaking awesome. Pause. The very next day, I went out with my friend Malcolm just to sluice, and I found a spot so rich, I decided not to film it. Which is the first time I felt I've ever had to do that. Now, all I was doing to find that spot was I was shoveling material into a sluice box, and at the end of the two hours that we were there, I go to pick up a couple leaves and realize, those aren't leaves. So I'll show you this one clip Malcolm took back at camp, then I'll weigh up all the gold I found in New Zealand, and because I didn't film an outro to this video, that will conclude this adventure. What do you got there, Polly? What's in your hand, man? What do you got there? Not much. <laughs> Look at this. I found all that in the sluice box. Isn't that insane? It's crazy. I don't have much faith in sluice boxes until now. Look at that, that's 11 grams, that's 13. I don't know what that is. It's like four or five, and then a bunch of small stuff. In the sluice box. I don't That's even find awesome, Paulie. I, I don't find that stuff sniping. So here is all the gold I found this year in New Zealand. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> I mean, this is a small pan, and those are some huge nuggets. These are the three nuggets I found in the sluice box. This one weighs about 10 grams. This one was, I don't know, probably about eight grams. And this one, 13, actually no, just shy of 13, so about 12 and a half grams. So I didn't beat my 16 gram nugget that I found there last year, but still very, very happy to find that in a sluice box. Here's most of the big stuff that I found in that trip. And of course, again, the sluice box chunks. Now, I weighed all this, and because my scale only goes up to 100 grams, I had to divide it in half. So at 151.26 grams, which is just shy of five ounces, that is over $20,000 with the premium for the gold nuggets. And just to give you perspective, this is what I found last month versus what I found this month. Oh yeah, go to pioneerpoly.com to get yourself one of these toques if you wanna have good luck like me. I love you.